What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Scott and welcome to Fudge Muppet. Out of all the districts in the Imperial City, the Arena District is by far home to the most excitement. Here the most competitive warriors come to battle in fights to the last breath, cheered on by a roaring crowd of spectators who are gambling their hard-earned septums over life and death itself. When entering the arena, you may end up in the Bloodworks, which function as the readying area for gladiators as well as their training location. The area gets its name from the blood that regularly flows into it, seeping in from a grate situated in the actual arena itself. Like most guilds in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, there's a whole cast of colourful, interesting characters to meet here, and you better believe that they're as tough as a Minotaur's skull. Within this one zone of the Imperial City, you'll hear the various fighters and guild members speak a very unique name, Shinji. It seems as if Shinji is treated with the reverence of a god. If you talk to the battle matron, which is the person tasked with being the Grand Champion's trainer and manager, named Isabel, she will greet you by saying, And who in Shinji's name might you be? Look, if you're a spectator, go upstairs and talk to the gatekeeper. You might also annoy her enough to hear her say, Listen, sunshine, I ain't in the mood. You want something? Talk to Owen. He's right over there for Shinji's sake. Other members in the arena will say phrases like Shinji be with us or by Shinji, so clearly whoever owns this name is worthy of respect. If we follow the advice of Isabel and talk to Owen, the Blade Master, meaning he's in charge of arranging fights and training the combatants. Inquiring about Gaiden Shinji, you'll find out that Shinji was actually the first arena Blade Master. Owen calls him the best damned warrior that ever lived, and mentions that Shinji served a faction known as the Order of Diagna, but was killed fighting the Orcs. We can get some more input from the blue team gladiator when we ask him who Gaiden Shinji is. He exclaims, Who is Gaiden Shinji? Are you serious? Gaiden Shinji was the first arena blade master. It was he who oversaw the construction of the arena back in the first era. The arena was his dream. To this day, an arena combatant lives by Shinji's credo. The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. To be the best, learn from the best. Ironically, Shinji himself was killed shortly after the arena was completed. Even he could not survive the 30-year siege of Orsinium. So it seems that Gaiden Shinji is nowhere near a god, but rather a mortal who lived long ago in the Elder Scrolls timeline. That said, Talos also existed in mortal form, but then ascended to godhood, so it's interesting to ponder if reverence to Shinji could give him some kind of metaphysical influence after death. On this topic, it's interesting to speculate on the Basin of Renewal. This basin located in the Red Room could be activated after each battle to completely restore all of your health, magicka, and fatigue. Of course, Bethesda added it in for convenience sake so you could restore your stats between each fight, but perhaps the basin has some sort of mystical power, functioning almost like a blessing. If you try to receive the restoration of stats before you have had a fight, the message will read, You have not yet bloodied yourself in the arena. Return and refresh yourself after tasting battle. However, afterwards, you've earned the right to receive the power from the basin, and when you activate, it says, you wash the grime of battle from your body and feel completely rejuvenated. Inscribed upon this basin is Shinji's quote, the best techniques are passed on by the survivors. So it's fascinating to consider if Shinji and his reverence within the arena has anything to do with influencing the basin of renewal and the power you can draw from it. Metaphysics aside, it's interesting to think about just how powerful Gaiden Shinji was. After all, he's not simply known by members of the arena. Knowledge of this warrior stretches far, and there's even a town in High Rock named after him called Shinji's Scarp. So Garden Shinji founded the arena, and arena members in Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion tell you he was an amazing warrior, but there's still many questions left unanswered. Why was he considered so good if he died in the Siege of Orsinium, just like many other warriors did? What was the Order of Diagna, and what was the extent of Shinji's power in combat? Well, thanks to the third edition of the Pocket Guide to the Empire, which was included as a paper-bound booklet in the collector's edition of Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, as well as events from the Elder Scrolls Online, we have some more clarity. The first thing I should mention is that Gaiden Shinji was a Red Guard. Shinji lived during the First Era in a time where the Yakutan warrior wave that migrated to Hammerfell hadn't really arrived too long ago in the grand scheme of things. Think about it, he died during the Siege of Orsinium, which involved a campaign against the Orcs for approximately 30 years, 
The siege finally ended in the 980th year of the First Era. The Yakutan Warrior Wave, also known as the Regatta, only came to Hammerfell the 808th year of the First Era. This means Gaiden and Shinji would have been born a few generations later, training as a warrior in a time where the Way of the Sword was being forgotten, and many warriors had already put down their swords during a more peaceful time, opting to focus on building their new nation. So with the warriors on decline, a renowned swordsman like Gaiden Shinji was quite rare. I do wonder though if he would be considered as good of a warrior if the Yukuran warrior culture didn't fade so quickly and he was compared to the all-powerful sword singers. So how did he get wrapped up in the Siege of Orsinium? Well, in the 948th year of the First Era, Gaiden Shinji was sent a letter by the ruler of Daggerfall named King Joyla. Joyla was having troubles with the Orcs, writing that the Orcs have been plaguing much of the Wayresters and impeding traffic to the heart of the land. He wanted help from Shinji and the Order of Diagna in joining the attack on Orsinium. Gaiden Shinji, the leader of the Order, agreed to provide aid, and so an alliance was formed between the Order of Diagna and the armies of Sentinel, as well as the armies of Daggerfall. Before we get an understanding of the First Orsinium and the reasoning behind the siege, let's actually explore this mysterious Order of Diagna. Deep knowledge of this faction has likely been mostly lost to time, however what we do know is that they were a knightly order of Hammerfell devoted to the Yakutan deity Diagna. Diagna is known as the Orichalc god of the sideways blade and is credited with helping the Yakutans defeat the left-handed elves back on Yakuta by bringing them Orichalc weaponry. Interestingly, Diagna was actually an avatar of a Yakutan god called Hoon Ding, the Yakutan god of Make Way. This is a god who was materialized whenever the Red Guards needed help to literally make way for their people throughout history. Manifesting in the form of Diagna is just one example. As we know, Shinji in the Siege of Orsinium and following this, the Order eventually faded into obscurity and it's said that Diagna is little more than a local power spirit of the Dragon Tail Mountains. To lead such an Order, Gaiden Shinji must have been very skilled with his sword and in the Elder Scrolls Online we see him represented with a two-handed katana on his back. However, what's very interesting to consider is that the possibility of Gaiden Shinji being an Ansai, that is, a powerful sword singer. These sword singers could learn the ability to manifest a sword from their very soul, and some could unleash powerful spirit sword magic-like attacks. If Shinji was an Ansai, you'd think it would be brought up or mentioned often throughout writings, so you should probably take this information with a grain of salt. However, the concept of Garden Shinji being an Ansai is not mere speculation. Its basis comes from the paperbound book that came with the collector's edition of Oblivion. In this pocket guide to the Empire 3rd edition, the section on Orsinium refers to the Order of Diagna as Ansai. It reads, for 30 years, a joint military force from Daggerfall Sentinel and the Ansai Order of Diagna attempted to breach the seemingly impenetrable walls of Torugro Igron's fortress kingdom. In the First Era, year 980, they succeeded annihilating all who lived within, scattering the stones into dust. If this is true, it would be really cool. I mean, there were many powerful warriors from Hammerfell, and yet Gaiden Shinji and the Order of Diagna seem to be held in such high esteem. Whether or not it is just due to supernatural-like prowess with a blade that was completely natural or being true Ansai, it's hard to know for sure. The sword singers were dying out at this point, but because Shinji did live in the First Era during a time when Yakutan migration was fresh, relatively speaking when compared to the rest of the Elder Scrolls timeline, then maybe he was an Ansai. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But now let's discuss the cold hard facts. What really went down during the Siege of Orsinium? What really caused the death of this gallant warrior? You see, the first Orsinium was built by the Orc chieftain Torog Gro Igron in the Rothiarian Mountains of High Rock. Orsimer and goblins gradually flocked to Orsinium, gradually turning it from a small collection of huts into an orcish city of permanent structures. Then began the raids. The Breton cities and settlements built along the Bajulze River experienced frequent and destructive raids at the hands of the Orcs. It was a growing problem and Wayrest in particular suffered greatly. This however was a problem for the other cities of the Iliac Bay because Wayrest was an important trade center that gave them access to the heartland. By the year 948 of the First Era, King Joyla of Daggerfall sent a letter to Gaiden Shinji, the famed warrior, to request assistance in a legendary siege that would break Orsinium and save Wayrest. Garden Shinji agreed and his Order of Diagna would join the siege that began in the year 950 of the First Era. 
The bulk of the army was made from the forces of Daggerfall and the Red Guard city of Sentinel. However, the help of the Order of Diagna proved invaluable. King Joyla, however, had an ulterior motive for this alliance. After he dealt with the Orcs, he wished to take Hammerfell and conquer their lands. But among the Red Guards was Gaiden Shinji, one of the greatest warriors living. This was something he needed to fix. 20 years into the invasion, King Joyla had laid a trap. The fate of Orsinium was to be decided in a duel between the orcish hero Baloth Bloodtusk and Gaiden Shinji. However, as the two entered the battle, King Joyla and his archers struck them down in a hail of arrows, killing the best warriors of both Hammerfell and Orsinium. It is important to remember that even if Gaiden was a full-fledged Ansai sword singer, that even they cannot stand against the onslaught of a devious trap such as this. King Joyla, however, would not be rewarded for his betrayal. A mere three years later, before Orsinium was even destroyed, he would lead his armies through Bankerai Pass into Hammerfell, but he would meet a bloody end at the hands of the Ansai warrior Mikela Leki and her five Swordsinger companions. The invasion of Hammerfell was ended, and the remaining Allied forces finally managed to destroy the first Orsinium seven years later by the year 980 of the First Era. It was Shinji's wish to be buried wherever he would fall, and it would be his friend Lord Tristan, along with Bloodtusk's brother Rakaug, who would build them both a tomb in Western Rothgar called Honor's Rest. But Gaiden Shinji's legacy did not end there, as you know all too well. He would influence a great many warriors for thousands of years to come, his deeds and heroism recognized and remembered. The arena of Cyrodiil plays a special role in keeping his legacy alive. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please do give it a like. Subscribe for more Elder Scrolls goodness. My name is Scott from Fudge Muppet. This was the tale of Gaiden Shinji, and I'll be back to nerd out with you again next time.